morning everyone it's Miss Shear um, and welcome to my channel uh, if you're new here uh, thanks for stopping by and I hope you like what you see and want to become a subscriber um, and for my people who keep coming back uh, thank you so much it it really does my heart good for sure um, so today we're going to be working, um, doing another page in our Daphne diary, Daphne's Diary Glue Book Journal. Um, if you are new here, um, this is just a, a glue book um, with a twist, I guess, um, that I've been working in, um, well, I don't know how long now, quite a few months. Um, so um, if you'd like to look at those uh, uh, videos, they're in the playlist. Um, but today we are going to be working uh, out of issue number seven, which is the latest ed edition. Today is November, um, I always forget and have to look at my phone. Today is November 6th um, and this will air um, this Friday. Um, so yeah, so we are going to be using um, images from number seven. I have to say I was a little bit disappointed in number seven. Um, from my point of view, it's still great, um, and there's still a lot of good articles and stuff, but kind of from a glue book point of view, um, I just felt a little bit limited. I do think these mushrooms are gorgeous, Some, something about fungi, um, but uh, what I thought um, we would try to do something with is this frame here. Um, so I want to go away and, and cut that out. Um, I'm thinking this fox... I had a look through and there wasn't a lot of other animals. There's some birds, but, um, and I love the little animals um, that she often puts in. But, um, so do something with this and with that. Uh, but there are some really awesome cutouts here. Um, so there's a little bit of a glare, but I love um, the little, I'd say squash. Um, looks a little bit pumpkin-y too, because you can get green pumpkins, but um, a little bit of the squash. I think this is like a, a herbal tea, um, like a rose, rose hip tea. Of course, the, the, the uh, mushrooms. Um, and then there's another page, um, again, with some of those images. So we'll see if we can do something with those. I have had a look through for background page, and um, I kind of was going towards maybe making... Um, the back of this one work. Um, so, so, so this might work with what I'm thinking. If not, then I'll just go to my paper pad and I'll, I'll grab, um, I'll just grab a, a background paper. Um, so I'm going to go away now. I'm going to do some cutting, uh, and I'll be back soon. Okay. So I'm back. Um, and hours have gone by, um, since, um, I was last with you and I had to run and do some errands. Um, and I thought this was going to be very straightforward, uh, but it was giving me a little bit of trouble. So I took my um, little template and I had taken out some of the pages um, from issue seven because I wanted to try to use um, just that issue. Um, just because if that's the only issue that you had, um, then, then you know what you could do with it. Um, but I thought that was too busy. And then I didn't really like that for the images that I had. Um, and then there was another one that I really liked. I guess it was, I, I kind of liked that one, but I decided again that it was a bit too, uh, too busy. So I really liked this, this one here, but I felt that it was too bright. So I attempted to put a piece of vellum and I was hours trying to figure out the vellum. Um, I tried dot runner tape, I tried score tape, um, Fabri-Tac, uh, just PVA glue, um, double-sided tape. So then I had the brainstorm that I would get out my double-sided adhesive and that I would put the vellum all the way down and then put it on the paper. But I did a little swatch first and it was, you could still see that you know, it was darker, and if it wasn't even, there's little um, air pockets and stuff there. Um, so I started to abort that mission, and when I did, the double-sided tape got stuck to half the stuff on my desk. So I was about ready to scream in frustration, but I endeavored. Um, so what I ended up doing is I ended up taking my little tiny score tape, and I think that's about an eighth, 
um, of an inch and I just went along the edge of my vellum and then I took my embossing powder and I just um, put, in, put powder all over it um, and I heat embossed it um, so that it gave me a little bit of a frame. Um, I will be cutting I will be cutting this this off, of course. Um, so then what I could do is I could put that tiny tape underneath that little border and then it wouldn't show through through the page. Um, because I wanted I wanted that background, but I wanted it a little bit softer. And I can't show you, wait a second, um, because this is what it would have been like. Maybe you really can't see, um, but it really does mute it down a bit. So I was happy with that. Um, I thought about a pocket, but I would have needed um, a larger size in eight and a half by 11 so that I could make um, some little flaps that I could put the thing in. And uh, anyway, th that's what I ended up. So I've cut off um, the frame from the back of the magazine. So I've cut out the frame and I've cut out Mr. Fox. And then I took out these pieces, but I didn't end up using them. So I'm definitely gonna use those for another project um, because what I ended up using instead was um, there was just a little sheet opposite. Um, so this here is quite hard cardstock, um, where this is um, more like a glossy paper. So um, yeah, so I just cut out some images um, from here so I could save my other images. And then, so, so I cut out the frame and I just used my uh, little Fisker's exacto uh, knife to kind of cut around the edge. Um, and then I set on a mission to try to figure out what I wanted in the back of the frame. So I don't know if there's a, if there's a glare on, on, on there, but I ended up, I kind of auditioned all kinds of things. So I just took my frame and went around and tried to figure out um, what I would like. Um, and it was actually kind of fun because I was giving myself um, a bit of a giggle um, in doing things like, well, just random, uh, <laughs> random things like his face. Um, anyway, uh, so what I decided on was, um, part of the skirt of this girl here. Um, so I just cut that out and I basically just put my frame down on top and I traced, um, around it. So, um, so what I'm going to do to start is I'm just going to tack the frame down. I don't want to tack it all the way because then it won't it won't work um, for what I want it to work for. So I'm going to tack it kind of at the top, and I'm just using some PVA glue, which is fine, because I just want to get it um, so that it's just not that it's going to be there in the background. It's not going to fall off until I'm. Um, finish with my collage. So the other item that I've come up with is I cut out Mr. Fox um, and I do want to just bear with me one second. I want to grab my ink. I just want to go, I don't really want to distress it, but I want to get rid of that uh, white line. So that's too light. Um, so that so that it blends in better uh, with the background. So I'm just going to go along and just kind of fluff them up a little bit and get rid of that little line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and when I cut him out, I cut him close because there were still other things in that image that I might want to use. So, um, and it's funny because he fits in there almost like a glove. So I was really happy with the way he's 
he's sitting there. So I'm going to get him in place. I don't think I'm going to put much behind him. And I'm going to cut off just a little bit there. So I got him in the frame. And then this pumpkin came from that sheet that was glossy. Um, there was a string attached and there is a hole there. But that's okay because I'm going to set that with the underneath him. So I'm just going to put a little, I'm just putting a little bit of glue in the center in case I want to tack something underneath it. But I want the pumpkin sort of in the frame like he is, but also coming out of the okay, frame. Okay, so we froze there for a minute. Um, so, but yeah, so we got the pumpkin down there. And then I just went around and cut some more images out. So before I do anything else, I kind of have to decide where I want this on the page. So I am going to put a little saying down there. So I think I'm kind of happy with him right there. I am going to use some Fabri-Tac because it is vellum and vellum is plastic. Um, so I just want to make sure um, that it is going to stick. And for now, I'm just going to put some in the center so that I can tuck things around the edges. And then later on, I can firm things down. Um, so I'm thinking that I'd like to have it around there, I guess. So we've got that down. So I then went and cut out this leaf. And the leaf does have um, a page number and some printing. Um, but, it, but that's fine. I think I can hide it kind of in. If I come along kind of there. Um, and then I had another leaf that I thought we could kind of tuck in there. Kind of up like that, maybe. And then down here, or actually here, I wanted to mask him a little bit because, um, because there is a little bit of a cut there and stuff. So I was thinking to use some of these, like he's kind of sitting, he's sitting in the bushes. And then, and then I could use this one in some way. Let me see. I might not even need two of those. Although I could just, I'm not sure, but I kind of like how that is sitting because it makes it, and I'll put that branch, oh, that, that'll work. I'll put that branch right in behind the tree and then I'll have him like that. But what I think I might do, is a little bit of white there and when I'm collaging, oops, sorry, all that racket, I... You know, try not to get too bogged down in the minute details, but sometimes, and excuse my head if my head's in the way, um, something might catch my attention and then I might just be looking at it. So I'm just going to use my little sharp pen, cut that little notch out. There we go. Um, And pray that I don't wreck it. Okay. Because sometimes these little fiddly things, um, you're better off just leaving. You could go over it later with, I don't know, a marker or something. But I am, um, there's a little bit here that I think I tried to cut off before. Right there. If you want to get if you want to stay true to the, the fussy and the fussy cut. But sometimes you just got to let go and realize it's, you're not, you know, you might not be perfect. Which is sometimes hard for us to, to, uh, to take. Okay, so, right, so I'm going to put that down. And I, I don't mind that the back is, is like that. I think it's going to give dimension once it gets into the, the book. And I will um, glue it down better. But I'm thinking to 
grab that. I have arthritis in my thumbs and sometimes grasping something is, um, is a little bit difficult. I'm kind of thinking something like that. Yeah, I think I like that. All right, so I want to get this part of the stem down. And uh, I could probably use Fabri-Tac because I'm not sure if this will stay. But let's try the the PVA. It'll definitely the P PVA will definitely hold um, the paper on paper, but it might not stick to that one. Okay, so then we'll get that bit down. Because the thing with um, Fabri-Tac is it dries clear, but it dries shiny. So for that little bit there, where the Elmer's glue will dry matte, I didn't want it. I don't want it to be shiny. Um, okay, so then I think I'll get this bit down and see what this leaf does is it hides where. Um, it's not completely perfect with the fox, but it's pretty good. Um, okay, so we got that down. And then for the pumpkin, I kind of thought to put some more things that were in that picture, like um, maybe a, a pine cone and that hazelnut. And then there was, a, there was another pine cone. We could put the smaller pine cone there. And make this sort of like an uh, um, autumnal um, photo. I kind of like that there because this one's a bit bigger and darker. Um, so we could put that kind of up in there or on top. Kind of like a cluster on top. No, I don't like that as much. And then we have one of these. Is this a star, a star, uh, anise, I think it's called, um, where we could put that in. And then what else I have is a acorn and another, is that a hazelnut? And then I have another one of these branches. So maybe, no, that takes it too much out of frame. I could stick that under there. Or I could, oh, that, that might work if I, what if I cut it and then make like it's part of, of that, like there. Yeah, I kind of like that. I do like that. Okay, so get that down. Get that down there. It's a nice sunny day here in Halifax. Um, when I woke up this morning, it was about zero degrees, I think, Celsius. Um, but now, I don't know, I'd be tempted to say it's maybe 12 degrees. I still went out when I first went out, I had my heavier jacket on, and by the time I come home, I had taken my jacket off. So I had ran out to do a couple things. I had to go to Costco. Um, I think that's coming along pr pretty good. Um, okay, so what about, I want to put that there sort of to cover his, um, his paw. And then maybe like that. Put that kind of in the background. Is that being covered by the pumpkin too much? We could put that down there. I think that would look okay. So we'll stick that, oop, we'll stick that under there. Like so. And then this guy, oh, I think that, that would work like that. 
have them peeking out? Or what about an acorn? Kind of off at a, an angle, like it's kind of resting on there. All right, let's make a decision about this pine cone down here. I usually have this all thought out prior to, but not today. So I kind of like that. Do I? Do you ever get those times when you're just so indecisive? Just make a decision, honey. Because I think this is a little bit too big and too dark, unless I turn it kind of this way. And then maybe make a little collage with that, and that piece. Oops. I, um, I'm not on social media very much. I mean, I do my, my little bits and bobs here. Oh, I kind of like it like that. Kind of just sitting on there. Yeah. Um, but I went on social media this morning for a minute and realized Matthew Perry had died. I find that very sad. He was uh, definitely part of my youth, friends and all that. He, um, he said in an interview once that he knows when he dies that um, he will be known for friends, but he wished that he would be known for the work he tried to do around addictions. Um, yeah, so it's kind of sad. I think I like it like that. Yeah, I think I'm liking that. And I, I think I'd leave it at that. I mean, we could keep adding stuff, but um, so I'm going to put this little pie, pine cone down. <laughs> the other thing I cut out, because sometimes I think it's good to have a little whim whimsy in your life, is I cut out this spoon. And I thought, just as a random thought, I would stick that spoon, <laughs> stick the spoon in there. And then I, I had these carrots and these apples too that I thought might might work well to kind of cover up that space there. But you don't have to cover up every bit of space. And basically, just stop when you're happy. So how's that looking? I think that's looking okay. Um, I also had... These little branches, these were fussy. Because so I kind of thought maybe put put some of those little branches in. But then I think it I don't I don't like that. Um we could put them kind of coming out and down that way. Nah, I don't like that. Um okay, so we do have this one little thing left that I could put in there. So let's get this down more so it's not pop because I'm not really going to put anything out the bottom. So let's get the frame sat down in there. And let's get the pumpkin sat down. And then we can get this set down. Okay. And then could get this down like so and then you know if I find something that I think would add to that I'm kind of thinking well, I don't know um, I think that's probably good waffling around here uh, but I did find a saying from my Tim Holt small talk that I thought I would like to be reminded of, and that's to start each day with a grateful heart. Because there's always something to be thankful for. You know, I'm not saying there isn't hardships and things that we're going through. Um, if you've been following along with me, November is hard for me. Um, you know, I do miss my mother, but there are lots of other things in my life that I am thankful for. So 
I thought that we could, isn't that cute? I thought that we could put him on the back of this one and I already took it out of the book on the back side of this I think because because that would be because um, that's that way and then there's that yeah um, so yeah so I thought about just putting it here I guess the alternative is when this is in here I'm just I got my book here so when this is in here we've got that that there that there and then so it'd be an empty page so it doesn't really matter um, if we put it on this side or this side so maybe I like this side um, so I think we'll put it just here and it might be a little bit bigger than my page um, but I'm I'm fine with that uh, because on the next page I can make that page just a, a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to adhere this. But do I want the top and the bottom? I'm going to go away and I'm going to fix this down and put it in the book and then we'll do a final view. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've managed to get them in. Um, get them tacked down and as you're going along dum 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 and there he is Mr. Fox um, I think I need to put a little bit more glue here in the corner um, so if you like what you've seen today please give me a like and I'd love for you to subscribe um, and thank you so much um, for the ones that keep coming back and leaving me comments um, I read every one of them and um, it just just makes me happy that you, you take the time to do that. Um, so until next week, um, I hope that things um, are, are good for you, uh, that you stay well, and uh, bye for now.